refraction through spherical surfaces. We know how the refraction happens to plane surfaces. And now we will derive one relation between different quantities when uh, the refraction is through a spherical surface. Okay. For that, consider a spherical surface here. Okay. Now, if this is the principal axis and this is the center of curvature. Okay. Now, this distance will be the radius of curvature. Now, and suppose one object is there and from that object consider one ray that is incident at a particular angle then this will be the normal and this will be the angle of incidence i the angle between normal and the incident ray okay now suppose its image is formed here okay and this is the image and this will be the angle of refraction, the angle between refracted ray and the uh, normal that is angle of refraction. So we can name the corresponding points, this as normal we can give as N, <coughs> this as M, okay and all of the quantities are okay. Now this will be the object distance u, distance from the mirror to the object, sorry, uh, from the surface to the object and here the distance from this uh, surface to the image that will be v. So, object distance and image distance. Now, suppose the refractive index of the first medium is n1 and the refractive index of the second medium is n2. Okay. So, now we can derive the relation between different quantities here. And for that, we need to consider three triangles. First one is triangle N, O, M. Even though this is a spherical surface, approximately we can consider it as a straight, sur straight surface. Okay, or straight area. So, we can consider this triangle N, O, M. So, from triangle N, O, M, tan N, O, M, tan angle NOM is equal to tan theta is opposite by adjacent. So here tan NOM is equal to MN divided by MO. And similarly from triangle NMC. From triangle NMC tan NCM. Tan N C M is equal to N C M is equal to opposite by adjacent that is N M by M N divided by M C. And from triangle N I C from triangle N I C tan nic is equal to sorry tan nim uh, both are okay nic and nim both the angles are same anyway tan angle nim is equal to okay so we are not considering the triangle nic nim this triangle we are considering okay N I M. Okay, from triangle N I M, this triangle, tan N I M is equal to M N divided by M I. Okay, so from all these three triangles, we got the tan of three different. Angles tan NOM equal to MN by OM, then tan NCM is equal to MN by MC, tan NIM is equal to MN by MI. Now we know that for small angle, tan theta is approximately equal to theta, and sin theta is approximately equal to theta, cos theta is approximately equal to 1. Those are for small angles. Now here, tan theta is approximately equal to theta for small angle 
So here instead of tan NOM, we can write approximately as NOM. Angle NOM. This is approximately equal to angle NCM and this is approximately equal to angle NIM. Okay, as tan theta is approximately equal to theta. Now, from this figure, Okay, so again from the figure, uh, now consider the triangle. Consider this triangle. Okay, angle NIC, sorry, uh, triangle NIC. From that, um, angle R plus this angle, that is, N I M angle N I M will be equal to N C M. Similarly, as it is exterior angle R plus N I M is equal to N C M because these are also exterior angles from this triangle, triangle N I C. Okay. Now here R equal to N C M minus NIM. So, R equal to what is NCM? NCM is equal to MN minus MC. MN minus MC minus NIM. What is NIM? MN minus MI. MN minus MI. So, now this is equation number 2. We got the expression for angle I and angle R. Okay. That is the only quantity we need here. So, I equal to Mn divided by Mo plus Mn divided by Mc. And R equal to Mn divided by Mc minus Mn divided by Mi. Okay. Now, we know this law of refraction. Uh, first law, 
incident ray, refract, refractor ray and the normal lies on the same plane. And the second law is Snell's law of refraction. So according to Snell's law, sin i divided by sin r equal to a constant. That is the refractive index of the second medium. Okay. So that is n21. N21 refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. Otherwise we can write as n2 by n1. So this is Snell's law of refraction or the second law of refraction. So uh, as we told earlier for small angle sin theta is approximately equal to theta. Sin theta is approximately equal to theta. So instead of sin i we can approximate it as i and instead of sin r we can approximate it as r. So i by r equal to n2 by n1 otherwise i n1 is equal to r n2 i n1 is equal to r n2 now for i and r we can substitute the corresponding terms from this two equations so i into sorry instead of i mn divided by mo plus mn divided by mc into n1 is equal to r that is mn divided by mc minus mn divided by mi into n2. Now mn we can take as common from this equation and mn as common from this two equation that two will cancel. So mn will cancel the so So what we get as n1 divided by mo, n1 I am multiplying to the bracket plus n1 divided by mc is equal to n2 divided by mc minus n2 divided by mi. Now here there is denominator mi, there also it is denominator is mi, sorry mc. So both we can bring to one side. So that is N1 by MO plus N2 by MI. This term to the other side. That is equal to N2 by MC minus N1 by MC. So here denominator is common. So we can write it as N2 minus N1 divided by Mc. N2 minus N1 by Mc. Now what we have to do is we have to substitute the corresponding terms from the figure by including the sign convention. So here MO. MO is this one. That is U. But according to sign convention, as it is to the left of the mirror, sorry, left of the surface, that will be minus U. So, MO will be equal to minus U. Then, MI. MI will be plus V. MI is equal to V. And MC. MC is equal to R. Radius of curvature. You can substitute the corresponding terms here. That is N1 divided by minus U plus N2 divided by V is equal to N2 minus N1 divided by R. So now we can write this equation in a beautiful manner so that. N2 by V minus n1 by u is equal to n2 minus n1 divided by r. This is the equation for a spherical refractive surface. n2 by v minus n1 by u is equal to n2 minus n1 divided by r. So this equation holds for any refractive spherical surface.